All right. Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this one is part three of the switch bike videos that we've been doing. Uh, this is probably gonna be the last one, at least for now. Uh, I may do another one in the future, but for now this is the last thing I wanted to tick off, which is uh, my dad's review. Uh, my dad is well into bikes, that's where I get it from, and um, I thought he'd be the perfect person to try this out because, um, well, he speaks his mind. He's gonna tell us exactly how he feels about it. If he hates it, he'll tell us, and he'll tell us how much he hates it. Um, but as I already know, he doesn't hate it, so, but no spoilers. I took it back to uh, my hometown in Somerset, and uh, every time I go down there, I try my best to go for a little ride with my dad and my brother. Uh, this is a ride we've done millions of times when I was growing up as well, and um, uh, he, more, I talk, he talks about it more in the actual video itself, but um, there's definitely a part of it that we would usually kind of turn around, um, and the switch bike made it that much easier. So, um, but anyway. Uh, we'll get to that more in detail in a second, but uh, let's fa fast forward back to when I was uh, last with my dad and um, show him how to ride an electric bike. So basically, hold that button down there or turn it on, mm -hmm. then that's your power. I'd start down here, but if you pedal, it'll it'll help you. Right. Once you get comfortable with it, you can try putting it up a little bit, but mm. don't put it onto the top one until we're like in a bit more open space because it will it kicks in. Okay. So do you want to just ride up there one more time and then go? Oh, this is good, isn't it? How can it might be? So off we went. The ride we chose to do is not that hard. There's a couple of small hills, one rather big hill, and um, lots of flat. It's a bit mixed between gravel and kind of like paved, uh, but it was uh, it's nice and chill and pretty relaxed. <laughs> Apart from this hill. This hill, uh, I don't know what the grade is. You can't really tell from the video because, well, GoPro effect or Insta360 effect. It just doesn't look that steep. But I promise you, it is very steep. Uh, this is my face uh, without the e-bike helping me. Not a very good face. Oh, me ring. Close me ring. Yeah, that's brilliant. I would have been, I wouldn't have been able to talk if I'd not there with that, eh? If I'd made it. Thank you. You're welcome. Unfortunately, it still doesn't help him get on the bike, though. And I'm sure you're going to ask, so I am riding my rock hopper. Uh, I've currently got it kitted out for my bike packing setup ideas that I'm trying out, uh, but there will be a bigger, longer video about this when I've perfected, well, not perfected, but once I've kind of decided exactly what I want to do with it. So um, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more bike packing type stuff with the, uh, the rock hopper. And now we're going for the land speed record. Good, I'm after me. As I say, I, I can still talk, so that's a pretty good game. I can't. <laughs> this thing's heavy as hell. Is it? Yeah. Well, uh, I've got, it's because all the camping gear. 
Yeah, there's a, you can feel the weight on the front of this, which I'm not used to. Yeah. I must admit, but yeah, no, that is, uh, that is quite impressive. So uh, at this point, it was starting to get a little bit dark and uh, we were all pretty cold. So we decided to stop and try out some of my bike packing gear that I had with me. And uh, we decided to make ourselves some coffee. Uh, but we uh, we spiced them up a little bit at the end. <laughs> You're right there. This is supposed to be quite easy to use, but uh, it's not right now, is it? This is getting very slippy. We're gonna have to move. Vodka on your body? Yeah, go on. I'll have some vodka. Thanks. Ooh. Yeah, right. By the time we finished our spicy little coffees, uh, it got dark, so we got to try out some of my new lights. And uh, my dad's wore a bobble hat with an LED on it. <laughs> so the rear light was a, a Nog blinder. I've had it for a little while actually, and it is this one. And blinder is the name but uh, it's cool because it's got this uh, like it's meant to be a skull it looks more like a jellyfish I'm not gonna shine my eyes because that's stupid and then for the front uh, I've got a cat eye amp 400 which is one of these jobbers uh, I got this from uh, Halfords and I've just realized I actually never paid my dad back for it so he bought it also crazy bright like I need to stop shining bright lights in my face. <laughs> and um, that's that. That's the end of the video. Um, moral of the story, uh, my dad's absolutely loved it. Uh, he wants to go for more rides and bigger rides now. Um, so I'm gonna be going back to Somerset in April, March. Not this month, put it that way. It'll be in a month or two, and um, we'll go on some bigger rides, kind of go a bit more of an adventure and see how far we can get on it. Uh, he's, like I said, he's a big fan of it. Like, you've heard him in a couple of times in there. We had a massive chat afterwards, um, but uh, he really liked it. He liked the way that it didn't kind of take too much away from the actual ride itself. Uh, I think that's the important thing for me as well, is the fact that you could, even if in the top gear, you can still feel it. You're still doing a lot of the work. Um, it's just the fact that in the top gear in particular, or top speed, it's just gonna help you go a lot faster and more consistently for a lot longer. Um, so it kind of takes the, the hard part out of cycling, um, but you still feel it, you still feel it. I don't think this will be the last that you see of the Switch, um, but if you haven't seen the previous videos, um, they are gonna be linked below. Uh, the first one is linked above right now, that is the build. Uh, then I take it for a ride myself and give a bit of a review. Uh, and then we've got this one now, which is the last part of the series. Um, thanks again to Switch for sending this out. Um, I've had a lot of fun playing with it and I feel like we've made some quite cool videos and tried some cool things out as well. Uh, if you are interested in the Switch kit uh, and want to know more about it, there is a link below. Um, please give it a click, check it out, see what you think. Um, the big thing that I've taken away from this is um, actually the weight on the front of the bike. Um, my dad said it, I said it, and a couple of my friends who have tried this out since I've had it have also said it. Um, and that's mainly the battery. The big thing that, uh, if you don't already know, is the fact that that's the biggest thing that the Switch have changed in their new kit. Uh, they have newer, thinner batteries. I mean, I'll see if I can put a picture on the screen here. They're like like battery packs you would charge your phone with and your laptop and stuff. Like, it's insane. Um, they have two different versions. Uh, the, the smaller one does very similar to what uh, my battery does, and then the bigger one goes even further. Uh, but these are tiny, and I think that is the one thing that would probably make this perfect. So you don't need to worry about it because they've already done it. Let's leave it like that. Um, the one last thing I wanted to say, uh, by the time this video goes out, you probably would have already have seen them. Uh, actually, it went they went out today when I record this and I've sold a bunch already, but the Bulky Boy Bike Club stickers are back in a new color, uh, orange, selected by you guys. The other sticker that I'm about to drop is uh, some more of the proper crusty
the proper crusty stickers are back. Uh, I have a very limited quantity of these. Uh, I wasn't quite sure if you guys wanted any more of them. Um, I put it on my Instagram yesterday and uh, you guys did really want some more of them. So once these are gone, I probably will order some more, but um, if you want to get the first batch, that is it. There's literally just a little handful of them. Uh, so uh, don't be shy. The link is below. This is the website. And um, that's that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like it. Uh, the subscribe button is that one there. And uh, if you can't wait till next week's video, why don't you try and watch that one? That one, that's a particularly good one.